Hello, my beautiful vibe drivers. Welcome to your mystic affirmations for Tuesday, October 22nd of 2024. Many blessings to you all as we move forward in this wonderful energy. Remember, this is a collective reading for all sun, moon, and rising signs. That means if you'd like to have your own personal reading, please visit royalmystic.com. I'll be looking forward to doing a reading with you, and you can enjoy the sweet treat that's coming in across the bottom of the screen. You've got a code to save a little bit of green. Green. So that's my uh, trick or treat to you. And I hope to see you there. Let's see what the cards have to say as we move forward in the energy. We will begin with the Nine of Swords and the Justice card. So the Nine of Swords is basically where we start to really hammer our own selves in the place of the, the coulda, shoulda, wouldas and pulling ourselves really heavily into self judgment and um, self sabotage. So if you notice, nobody's holding those swords just her she's holding the thought of the swords they're not even real swords right so she's giving herself the business and we have to let go of that feeling um first of all you won't be able to get anywhere if you stick yourself in this point and everybody who does anything to step outside of their comfort zone and to step out of the box is going to feel this nervous energy but as soon, and I promise you, from my own experience, I can tell you it's true. As soon as you step into what you're supposed to be doing, all the fear just falls away. It didn't even exist. So it's like, poof, it's not there. And you can just move into the energy. This is breakthrough energy. This is as close as you can get to the breakthrough right before it happens. And that's where you are. So don't freak out when you feel it right there because you're it's, it's about to get real, y'all. When that happens, you know you're about to step into something. So, and, and it's usually into your destiny and we're afraid of our own success because what if we don't do it? What if it's not what we want? These are the things that are running through the head here. And that's just the voice talking, the ego, right? So we've got the energy of the justice card, Libra major arcana. It's the energy also of the swords, air sign energy, but it is the, the energy of right decisions being made by you and for you and being in a place of balance. So yay team. As we move forward in this energy, let's see what else we have. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine, pure, white light. Divine spirit, we have the manifesting energy of the magician. This is where we pull in that, that self-doubt and we focus it on the outcome we want rather than what we don't want, which would be the fear right? False evidence appearing real. I didn't make that up. It's a real thing. <laughs> the acronym. And it's the energy of being able to really get yourself dialed in and to create from the divine quantum field. All the particles that you need are already out there. You just have to send the vibration of what they what you're wanting to see, what you're trying to form in your life and to achieve. And that will allow you to bring it into the actual 3D realm. Okay. Out of particle into presence. Divine Spirit, Spirit Guides, Gods and Goddesses, thank you so much for being present here to allow all sun, moon, and rising signs to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this divine guidance as always, and we welcome this blessed energy. Thank you so much, divine. You are always welcome and very appreciated. So we can bring in our cards here. And our underlier is... Ha <laughs> ha! The chariot! So that's the breakthrough. When you're at that nine of swords, this is the next moment where you're in the victory, right? You're sailing over all the things that were intimidating you. All the self-doubt is gone. You see she's in that celebration pose. Anytime you throw your hands over your head, it is a victory. Why do you think sports fans yell out whenever their, their team scores, right? So, and the hands go in the air. So it is the energy of releasing the endorphins of success. Now, this is the Cancer Major Arcana, but it's also what I affectionately call Elvira Knievel, overcoming obstacles in a single bound, allowing herself to be in the place of victory. No shame in her game, my friends. And I identify with that a little bit. So, yay team. We just got to go for it and do the best we can. 
and see what see what happens. Let the chips fall where they may. We have attitude. Attitude of gratitude is the best way to start your day. Before you get out of bed, stop all that mind rush about what you need to do, what the deadlines are. What did it, Just stop for a second. Let your energy fall away and just be in a place of thank you. I am so grateful. All things work in my favor. You are continuously conspiring in my favor. I receive exactly what I need, exactly when I need it, every single time. The universe is conspiring in my favor. That is a huge statement. I attract success and positive people into my life with my positive attitude. Absolutely. Who wants to be around a person that's really excited? Everybody. Who wants to be around the person that's just flat on their face and you can't pull them up off the floor even when you try, right? That's not a fun, uh, a fun thing, right? So, and I'm not talking about people who have actual tragedies. I'm talking about people who manufacture the victimness, right? So, and, and we can do that because it, it gets attention. Some people learn how to do that through the negative uh, affirmations and the negative uh, belief systems. They let themselves fall into the victim role because then people come into what? Rescue. We don't need to be rescued. We are our own dynamic, beautiful energy. We are mighty warriors of the light. Now we can support each other, but we don't have to rescue each other. So support. I surround myself with supportive poop people who believe in my dreams, not poople people. <laughs> I surround myself with supported people who believe in my dreams. This is really important because when you're saying somebody's supporting you, they're not people you have to try to pull up to your level. They're already there, right? So that's what you want to attract is more people in your life who can stand with you strongly. It's like picking your own team, right? You're going to pick the team of the people who can can carry the ball to the goal or over the top of the the mountain there, right? She didn't do all that by herself. She's in a place where she's had the support in order to help her achieve that, right? It's like the, 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 for those of you who do not know, uh, before your time, there was a guy named Evil Knievel and he used to, he was a stunt guy and he would jump these crazy obstacles. Now he had a whole team behind him. He wasn't doing it all alone. He did the jumping all alone, but it was only after the team set him up for success. Don't forget that. Don't hire anybody to your team in life that isn't going to support you in all the leaps and breakthroughs, right? So meditation brings answers. This is a beautiful energy of allowing yourself to really set in that frequency of letting all things fall away and letting the universe speak to you in those profound moments of thought and understanding and downloads that we suddenly get. You have to make space in your life. Your busy day is very hard to break through if you don't create a little moment in order to do so. Because the meditation does bring the breakthroughs. And I can testify to that too. Earth. The Mother Gaia energy is our sense of safety, security, and literally how we sustain our lives here in this realm. The frequency of earth activates our deep connection to the physical plane by showing us the beauty of all aspects of our great mother and revealing the more ethereal spiritual aspects of our nature. Because when we are in nature, my darlings, that's why so many people are attracted to the outdoors in whatever form, they are connecting to that sympathetic energy force of life itself. And you don't have to ask it to help restore you and give you vitality. It does it without you needing to ask. That is why when people go to nature and sit in nature, they are changed. They are brought back to their, their former energy or even better. We have the star. Believe in yourself. You are a wonder of creation. Wash away all fear and discover you are a shining star. Allow all around you to just be. Let go of trying to control life for the light of your soul will guide you always towards love. Remember, stars are born through explosions of love. Love illuminates all things. Never forget, you are truly a shining star. 
And so it is. So receive that beautiful energy. Healing. Listen to your heart. Love is the greatest healer. It has the capacity to balance and heal your emotions, thoughts, and perceptions, which in turn will heal you physically. Your angels are here with you and will help dissolve your fears. Trust in the power of love to guide you, and your life will magically transform. This card is confirmation that healing is occurring right now, and so it is. We receive the divine healing, and that's what we're talking about, the Mother Gaia energy. You can be healed in the energy of the calmness and reset to your beautiful, authentic energy of life force, life source, vitality through the Mother Gaia energy. Here we go. We have conflict. This is the five of wands. Now, this usually means a little challenge. It's more like a speed bump. It's not anything very difficult. It just, you might stump your toe on it, right? Just know that all you have to do is stand your ground, even if it's a little unsettling. Don't waver from what you're doing. Hold your ground. That will pass. You don't have to be in a place where it feels like you have to, you don't really have to battle back. You just have to plant yourself and not be moved by anybody's ruckus. We have the Seven of Pentacles, which is the energy of having your resources here. The Seven of Pentacles is all about holding the energy of the abundance that you have already sown the seeds for. And now it's coming into where it's bearing fruit. It's ripening on the vine. So you have that ability to stand in that power, knowing that you are held in a place of security with this beautiful energy. We just have to be patient enough to let it happen. Now... There's the energy of the Eight of Cups, which is a yes. The runway's been made clear. Your All of your efforts have stacked up now, and you're, you're absolutely in a place where you can move forward. This is a yes from the universe. You may now proceed, and you already know you're, you're nailing it. You're killing it. I mean, literally, you are absolutely winning with the energy of as you take off, you're taking off and overcoming all the challenges that were there trying to hold you back. So my darlings, have a beautiful Tuesday. I love you guys. I send you lots of peace, happiness, joy, divine healing, abundance, and love, love, love to you all. Thank you for watching these videos. I appreciate you so very much. Please don't forget, get your little discount while you can and come and see me. Namaste, my friends.